You are about to discover how this typical American breakfast that you have been having for years might be the reason why you are fat. Some people might consider this type of breakfast healthy, but it includes four foods that are stopping you from losing weight. Now, this might shock you a little, but one of the foods you should not eat is whole wheat bread. You are probably thinking, isn't whole wheat bread healthier and more nutritious than white bread? Well, that's what I believed initially. In fact, that's what the food industry wants us to believe, too, so that they can make money from you over and over again. But the truth is that when you eat whole wheat bread, your body automatically unleashes a fat-storing hormone that causes you to put on fat and gain weight. Not only can it cause you to be fat, it might increase your likelihood of developing diabetes and ultimately lead to death. And because the food and pharmaceutical industries don't want you to know these facts, this presentation may not be up for very long. So watch it while you can. Hi, I'm Susan Lowell, and I have tons of weight loss information to share with you today. Information I've applied myself and lost over 38 pounds of fat from my belly, thighs, and hips. Not only will you discover how whole wheat bread can cause you to gain fat, but you will also learn what three other worst foods you should never eat to keep the weight off for good. Plus, I'll reveal the specific foods you must eat to unleash your fat-burning hormones and turn your body fat into fuel. Best of all, you will not need to undergo dangerous surgery, swallow useless weight loss pills, or depend upon unrealistic willpower. By the end of this presentation, you'll learn exactly how to melt the fat off easily, naturally, and permanently, simply by unlearning all the conventional, healthy wisdom that has been used to brainwash you and to turn America into an obese nation. So, stop whatever you are doing right now and pay attention, because... When you start following these useful fat loss tips, you will finally have the slim and perfect body you've always desired, regain your self-esteem, and finally be confident of who you are and how your body looks, and finally be able to fit into the dress that you have long dreamt of buying or have kept hidden in the closet for many years. Losing fat might sound far-fetched now, but after you watch this entire video and do what it says, You'll find yourself losing more than 34 pounds naturally in just a couple of weeks. Be amazed when the fat that has accumulated on your belly, thighs, and hips starts to melt away. And you'll be excited to finally regain the energy, youthfulness, and health that you lost a long time ago. I'm going to show you what I've used to lose the ugly layers of fat that clung to my body for years. And if you think you've already heard of this or tried every possible way to lose weight, let me assure you that you have never seen anything like this before. I promise you that after you have watched this video, you'll be excited to follow these tips for an easy transformation into a slimmer, sexier, and healthier you. But first, let me share with you my sad story of obesity, which has haunted me for several years. While I may look slim and appear to be in good shape today, I certainly wasn't always like this. If you are a mommy, you are sure to understand how easy it is for women to put on fat after pregnancy, sometimes for no seemingly apparent reason. After I gave birth to my daughter, I gained a lot of weight and became obese. For a period of time, I didn't care much about my weight because there was a lot going on in my personal life, and I also had work to worry about. On top of that, my husband was always traveling, leaving me alone to take care of our daughter. Sometimes, I felt as if I was a single mom. The stress got to me. I sought comfort in food, engaging in emotional eating to relieve the stress and tension from day to day. I always craved foods like cakes, ice cream, and burgers. With time, I got more obese, to the extent that I found myself stretching out my size 35 shorts, even while sitting in the stairway, looking fat and obese. At first, it did not matter too much to me. I thought my weight gain was normal. In fact, I was convinced that my metabolism had slowed down, and I simply had to accept this fact. The next thing I knew, my once-loving husband was no longer sexually attracted to me whenever he returned home from his travels every few months. The real slap in my face came when my daughter started middle school. She came home one day and screamed at me. I could still vividly remember those exact words she said to me. I hate my squishy belly. What should I do to lose my fat? Mommy, why did I have to end up like you? I don't have any friends at school because they think I'm fat. I hate you, mummy. My daughter, who used to love watching TV and reading books with me and wanted to be just like me, no longer wanted to be like me and felt ashamed of me. That night, I did some serious thinking. 
I sort of had to, because I couldn't go to sleep. And I came to the realization that, instead of being a role model to my daughter, I had caused us both to become fat and unhealthy by preparing unhealthy and fatty meals on a daily basis. On that night, I took out my diary and wrote a note that said, I'm going to take charge of my health and body and do whatever it takes to become the woman my daughter needs me to be. I began trying countless different methods to lose weight, from fasting diets like the Master Cleanse, juice fasting, a low-fat diet, and even other fad diets like the Atkins diet, cookies diet, and many, many more. All of these diets were either too hard to sustain in the long term or made me ill halfway through them. To make matters worse, my extra weight came back with a vengeance. I even gorged on various supplements and diet pills like the acai berry. But all of these didn't work. To make things worse, although my husband was glad that I was doing my best to lose weight, he still wasn't sexually attracted to me. Just when I was about to give up, a Facebook friend suggested that I check out a nutritionist named Emma D'Angela. I did my research and found out that she is a certified nutritionist, speaker, best-selling weight loss book author, and has helped tens of thousands of people worldwide to lose weight. Initially, I was skeptical even though she had helped people of all shapes and sizes to lose weight. But after watching my friend slim down dramatically over a period of two months, I decided to consult her for advice. So this is where I was at the beginning, 196 pounds. And here I was one month later, 38 pounds lighter. With Emma's help, I lost fat naturally and easily without risky surgery, a starvation diet, or useless supplement pills. And here's what Emma taught me. First and foremost, the root cause of obesity lies in the multi-billion dollar food industry. In recent decades, the food industry has evolved into a fat monster that tempts you to buy from it over and over again. It invests tremendously in the taste of food and in marketing campaigns just so that you will continue to become its fat, long-term customer. Consider the taste of different food products. The food industry has added tons of sugar, salt, additives, and flavor enhancers to make the foods irresistible to you. That's why I started out by showing you a picture of a meal that most of us eat every day. Remember I told you how whole wheat bread is making you fat? Well, the media markets whole wheat bread as a healthy product, but when whole wheat bread enters your digestive system, it causes an increase in blood sugar just as much as refined white bread. This is also true of most pasta and rice. Yes, even whole grain versions. It is the case for almost all cereals and crackers, even those with all kinds of healthy claims written on their packaging. Of course there are other foods as cakes, muffins, donuts, cookies, pizzas, and apple pie, and there is a long list of foods that contain excessive sugar in them. These foods belong to the category of refined simple carbohydrates. As these simple carbohydrates are stripped of fiber, they can quickly and easily be broken down into glucose and converted into energy in the digestive system. As a result, your blood sugar spikes. When your blood sugar is high, at a level of 100 to 120 for a consistent period of time, your body has no choice but to release a hormone known as insulin to regulate the blood sugar level. At the same time, the insulin signals your body to store fat, and this is what you want to avoid. You might be thinking, what should I eat then? I'll answer you in a moment. But before that, let's get to the second food item you should avoid eating for breakfast. Sausage. Sausage is a highly processed meat that is full of salt, sugar, and other seasonings. According to Princeton University, sausage is highly seasoned, minced meat stuffed into casings. Sausage is notorious for its high levels of fat, which are used to preserve the taste of the meat. The minced meat used in sausage is not of the highest quality. Therefore, loads of salt and other questionable seasonings must be used to enhance its taste. Not only do they cause you to gain weight, but they also increase your bad cholesterol levels, thus plaguing your arteries. The worst thing is that experts have warned that a sausage a day can significantly raise your risk of developing bowel cancer, one of the deadliest forms of cancer. You'll notice your body shed the extra fats and melt away the extra pounds when you start eating unprocessed foods. Now, the third breakfast item that promotes the storage of fat and causes weight gain and health issues is margarine. Margarine promotes the storage of body fat because it contains trans fats. 
Trans fats are created in the industrial process that involves the addition of hydrogen to liquid vegetable oils to solidify them and make them last longer. But when these foods travel through your digestive system and into your arteries, they turn into sludge. This causes you to put on more weight and increases your risk for cardiovascular disease. It's not just margarine, but many other foods contain trans fats. When I discovered the harmful effects of trans fats, I started to read the nutritional labels of the foods I bought carefully to avoid those that contain trans fats or hydrogenated vegetable oil. You can reduce your risk of developing cardiovascular disease and that of your family by eliminating trans fats from your diet. If your diet primarily consists of the three types of foods highlighted above, your hormones are bound to be in the fat-storing mode and you are almost guaranteed to gain fat. That is why no matter what you do, under these circumstances, you will find it extremely difficult to get rid of the body fat. Here's another piece of information that will take your fat loss to the next level. Have you ever wondered why some of your friends can eat as much as they want and remain skinny? Well, that's because their bodies release a special fat-burning hormone that literally melts the fat off their bodies. When you shift from eating some of the foods I mentioned earlier to eating the right foods, you will essentially turn on the switch that releases this hormone. You'll realize how easily your belly, hips, and thighs will start to slim down, giving you the lean, toned body you desire and deserve, making you slim, sexy, and feeling on top of the world. Now, this fat-burning enzyme is known as hormone-sensitive lipase, or HSL for short. Its main role is to burn fat and turn it into energy for the cells in your body. HSL literally melts away the fat stored in various parts of your body, turning it into smaller molecules called fatty acids, and your body burns these fatty acids to produce energy. Without HSL, the fat on your belly, hips, and thighs remains stuck, making it impossible for you to lose this fat. The production of HSL is a natural process that burns fat and fuels the body. It so happens that, in most people, HSL production is not activated because of the kinds of foods they eat. Guess what? When insulin levels spike and stay consistently high, HSL production is turned off for good, making you store fat instead of burning it. So, when you stop eating foods like white or wholemeal breads, white rice, pasta, pizzas, potatoes, corn, all the refined carbohydrates that skyrockets insulin, and also sugar, and start eating foods like quinoa, millet, spelt, sweet potatoes, sprouted grain bread, and more fruits and leafy green vegetables, your insulin level would stay low and HSL production would be activated to melt the fats all over your body. It's natural, easy, and simple. You don't need to count calories, restrict the amount of food you eat, or go hungry. Because when you eat the right types of food, you can eat as much as you want. You don't have to starve yourself when you eat the right kinds of foods. I don't mean that you should eat until your stomach is overloaded and bloated. What I mean is that you can eat more calories than you think are advisable and still lose weight. I know this from experience. You see, I love eating food as much as you do. And learning these principles from Emma years ago was the best thing that happened to me. At this point, you might be wondering if it's really so simple. It is. Let me show you why most diets fail. Number one. Most diets are based on the wrong principles. They cause most dieters to gain weight rather than lose it. Consumers have been fed the wrong information by the government, the media, and even promoters of some fad diets. The food pyramid is one example of the misinformation that is stopping you from losing weight. The bottom of the pyramid is filled with bread, rice, and other cereals that increase your fat storing capacity. Stop listening to the sources that feed you this misinformation and stop following their recommendations blindly. Number two. Most of these diets are primarily based on excessive calorie counting. Can you imagine counting every calorie of food you put into your mouth, then trying to burn them all off by engaging in insane workout and exercise regimes? Not only is it impractical, but most people simply can't do this for life and their weight would just yo-yo back in a few months' time. Lastly, most diets fail because they require dieters to have a total diet and lifestyle makeover. This means they have to give up everything they enjoy just to lose weight. You can't really do what you hate forever, can you? Now, at this point, I hope you are not feeling overwhelmed and confused. I know all of this information all at once may seem like a lot, and you may not be sure to know how to put it all together and make it work well not only for you, but in an easy and practical way. 
Emma recognizes and understands all of the problems that people face when they want to lose weight. After nine years of engaging in scientific research and writing several best-selling diet books and cookbooks, she and her nutrition team have created a simple and groundbreaking program and community to help you burn fat and keep the weight off for good. It is called the 80-20 Fat Loss Program. Let me take a moment to tell you more about the 80-20 Fat Loss Program before I wrap up my discussion of the last foods you should avoid. After being tried and tested by hundreds of thousands of people like you and me, the 80-20 Fat Loss is an online program and community backed by a group of certified nutritionists and registered dietitians under Emma D'Angela's leadership. They will teach you how to tweak your diet by switching 20% of your fat-storing foods, which are only just a few foods, with natural and delicious fat-burning foods so that you'll start to burn the stubborn fat off your belly, hips, and thighs easily, even in just 30 days. This program will burn the stubborn fat and leave you with a trim body, even if you have a slow metabolism, have a thyroid condition, hate to work out, have been fat for most of your life, are a food lover, have big bones, have fat genes, have tried everything and failed miserably. It's as if you have your own personal online dietitian or nutritionist. To help you understand 80-20 fat loss better, let me tell you what the program will not do. It will not send your metabolism into starvation mode. It will not stop you from eating essential carbohydrates or fats. It is not a starvation diet. It will not require you to consume any useless and expensive pills, prepackaged food, bars, or shakes. It will not make you eat tasteless foods. You will not need to count calories. And lastly, it will not take away your life. 80-20 Fat Loss is a highly effective weight loss program designed to turn off your fat-storing hormones and switch on your fat-burning hormones, melting your fat away permanently. Everything is easily accessible online, so you can log into the program in the comfort of your home while visiting family, when buying groceries, or even during your travels around the world so that you'll finally be able to lose 20, 30, or 50 pounds of fat, lose 2.1 plus inches from your waist, trim over 2.3 inches from your hips, and burn over 6% of your body fat, look younger, feel more energetic, and boost your immune system. So, here's exactly what you will get from the 80-20 Fat Loss Program. In the exclusive members-only area of the website, you will gain access to the 80-20 Fat Loss Main Program. This is a complete, step-by-step, -step, fully detailed manual that contains everything you will need to implement in order to succeed in the 80-20 Fat Loss Program. From it, you will learn what foods not to eat, what foods to eat, exactly how and when to eat them, and how to begin tweaking 20% of your diet in order to lose fat effectively. Emma and her nutritionists will show you natural, yummy, and healthy carbohydrates, proteins, and fats that will help you achieve your fat loss goals. They will also show you how to speed up the fat loss process with the right kinds of foods and how to implement it daily in order to succeed in the 80-20 fat loss program without having to count calories, rely on unrealistic willpower, or endanger your life with risky surgery. Doesn't all of this make it easier for you? Next is the 80-20 fat loss food and exercise journal. This is one of the best ways to guarantee success in any fat loss or exercise program, as it helps you see exactly what you are eating and doing. Together with the other members of our program, you can record what you eat and do when on the diet. In this way, you can help to hold one another accountable. The 80-20 Fat Loss Shopping and Grocery Guide Emma has prepared a list of shopping and groceries to eliminate the guesswork. She will tell you the exact items you can get from the grocery store to help burn fat and lose weight faster. Nothing will be left to chance. The Quick Start Guide, which lays out exactly what you need to do to get started for the first three days. You'll need only 15 minutes to read through it and get started on your new dietary plan right away. With this guide, many members have already lost more than 10 to 15 pounds of fat and achieved their fat loss goals. The guide has been simplified to make it easy for you to take action immediately. You will also gain access to the simple 80-20 cookbook members area. These are natural, yummy, fat-burning recipes shared by the 80-20 community members to help you prepare food in your own home right away. You will find mouth-watering recipes that will boost your metabolism and accelerate your fat loss. I think you'll start to see a theme here. Figuring out what you've been doing wrong so far, then eating foods that not only help you burn fat naturally, but also boost your immune system and prevent yourself from deadly diseases and illnesses. I assure you, 
you're about to get one of the most powerful yet nutritional programs ever created in history that's guaranteed to transform your health and body. The harsh reality is that burning fat and keeping it off permanently requires a team of experts, including doctors, nutritionists, and chefs. This would cost you a bomb. Fortunately, Emma has done all the heavy lifting for you, putting everything you need together at a fraction of the cost. Here's what I mean. First of all, if you wanted a doctor to perform weight loss surgery on you, it would cost you a minimum of $3,000. Not only is this costly, but it also subjects you to the possibility of dangerous side effects and potential health issues. Secondly, if you wanted a nutritionist to design a personalized eating plan for you, it would cost you at least $100 an hour. You would need to hire the nutritionist for at least six hours a month. That could easily cost you $600 a month and $7,200 a year. Lastly, if you embark on programs that ship you prepackaged meals and frozen shelf-prepared diet foods, you could spend $300 or more each month without even losing weight. That's easily over $3,600 a year. As Emma doesn't want cost to be an issue for most people, she is offering yearly membership in the 80-20 Fat Loss Program at the extremely low price of $597. But now, since she and her team are delivering the entire program online without the added expense of printed materials and shipping costs, you can join the 80-20 Fat Loss Program and community right now and get everything you need to lose fat and keep it off for a one-time cost of $97. This is much lesser than the cost of having prepackaged meals and attending a private nutritionist sessions. And it is also definitely a lot safer and more natural than those risky fat loss surgeries. Let me ask you this. Years from now, when you're looking back, if all this program did for you is to melt the stubborn fat off your body, would it be worth the investment? Absolutely. If all this program did for you is to help you look slim, sexy, and confident, and regain your self-esteem and self-confidence, would it be worth the investment? Absolutely. If all this program did for you is to boost your health so that you can prevent dangerous diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and stroke, would it be worth the investment? Absolutely. But I told Emma we should make this a real no-brainer for you. We want you to try this program and see how well it works for yourself. That's why just for today only... Instead of $97, you can get the whole 80-20 fat loss program for a limited time only at $47. Yes, you heard it right. Just $47 for life. And there are no monthly fees or hidden charges. And you are backed by the 60-day, ironclad, 100% money-back guarantee. That means you will get full two months to follow the 80-20 fat loss program as closely as you want. And if you don't lose weight by the end of the 60-day period, you can contact the support team at support at 8020fatloss.com, and they'll refund your money. At the 8020 Fat Loss Program, Emma and her team are committed to providing you and your family with the latest, accurate nutrition information. And they believe that if the information doesn't help you to lose weight, you shouldn't have to pay for it. So, go ahead and give the 8020 Fat Loss Program a try right now. Simply click on the button below and you can begin your weight loss journey immediately. But that's not all. When you join the 80-20 Fat Loss Program today, Emma will give you her specially made 56-day meal plans that are usually only given to her one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. She wants to lay everything out for you so that eventually, losing fat and staying healthy will become natural to you. These meal plans will not only tell you what you need to eat, but also give you incredible meal variety. If there's something you don't like, don't worry. There's plenty of flexibility built in. So if there's something you don't like, you don't have to eat it. So here's what you need to do. Just click on the button and start burning fat now. That's right. Press the button and sign up right away. You definitely want to do it right now. As I told you in the beginning, I don't know how long this video will be up, and I don't know how long Emma will continue to let me make this offer. Now, you may be very surprised to learn that the fourth fat-storing breakfast food you should avoid is orange juice. You might be wondering... Isn't fruit juice healthy? The truth is that fruit juice is a fat-storing food. And I'm referring to concentrated fruit juices like apple, pomegranate, and even cranberry juice. The problem lies not in the fruit, but rather in the process of making these fruit juices. When the big food industry makes these concentrated fruit juices, it strips them of all their fiber and nutritious content. And the fiber of the fruits helps to slow down the increase in blood sugar level in your body. 
What is left in the fruit juice is just sugar and water. Like I mentioned earlier, when your blood sugar level spikes, it pushes your body into the fat-storing mode. So, how much sugar is there in concentrated juice? Well, an 8-ounce glass of orange juice contains 24 grams of sugar, which is about half the sugar by weight in a 12-ounce can of Coke. Concentrated juice is not the only drink you should be worried about, but also drinks like vitamin water, high fructose corn syrup, sparkling water, and diet soda. Excess sugar in your diet is something you want to watch out for. Not only will it make you gain weight, but it will also lead to hypoglycemia and diabetes. I'm not trying to scare you, but diabetes is the sixth largest cause of death in the United States, and many nations are catching up. The above drinks and beverages are just a few of thousands of food items that are manufactured by the big food industry. They are packed with sugar, coloring, artificial sweeteners, and other chemicals. You can't change what the food industry manufactures, but you can always choose what to eat, how to eat it, and what not to eat. And in the 80-20 Fat Loss Program, Emma will teach you how to tweak your diet, lose weight, and turn your health around. You've got a really simple choice to make. Option 1. Do nothing. Keep going the way you are now. Keep getting frustrated over the excess fats accumulating on different parts of your body. Option 2. Risk nothing at all today. Click on the Add to Cart button now and join the 80-20 Fat Loss Program today and line up to be another of our growing list of success stories. All you have to do to get started is to enter your email address and click on the Add to Cart button below. If you still have questions, listen carefully as I answer some of the most common ones that I've received so far. How fast will I start to experience fat loss? Virtually everyone begins to see significant changes in weight, body fat, and energy within the first week. Will your program work if you have type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, digestive disorders, arthritis, acid reflux, skin problems, or other chronic health problems? Absolutely. The 80-20 Fat Loss Program is perfect for those with diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and acid reflux, since it is designed to facilitate healthy eating and to heal the body naturally. Many of our customers reported improvements in their skin conditions, acid reflux, high blood pressure, arthritis, and other health problems after they started participating in the program. Do I have to exercise while on the program? Exercising is always beneficial, but it is not compulsory in the program. Exercising is highly recommended, but the focus of this program is the diet. I believe that if you focus on getting the diet right, you'll achieve better weight loss and health results. How soon will I gain access to the program? As 8020 Fat Loss is a digital program and community, you will be able to access the members-only download area and download all the materials immediately once you have made the payment. What if it doesn't work for me? If, by the slightest chance, you don't lose weight in the program, then it's all free for you. Just simply send Emma and her team an email at support at 8020fatloss.com or call 312-324-0024 within the next 60 days and your bank account will be credited in three to five working days. And the last question, how do I get started? Simply click on the Add to Cart button, and you'll be taken to a secure page where you can grab your copy of the 8020 Fat Loss Program.